Hello, can you hear me? Okay, yes, we can hear you. Okay, so now in the virtual stage, we have Daniel Garcia Moreno and this talk, the Ed experience teaching kids to code with no. So you have 40 minutes. Okay, thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Daniel Garcia Moreno and I want to talk uh, today about the hack experience and what we are working on LS since some time ago. You can find you, you can contact me on this uh, email if you have any question or something. Uh, don't hesitate and ask me or, or pick, ping me on on the IRC or something. So, the main idea behind this project is to try to improve their learning experience for kids. The learning, specifically, uh, the learning experience uh, of programming or or computer science or anything related to the to to computers. So right now. We have on, on the internet, we have a lot of documentation, but you need to find the needle in the high stack. In the high stack. So, I mean, you, you, can, you can just type on Google uh, how to write code in Python, for example, and you will have a lot of uh, web pages, but how do you know which one is the, the right one if it is not updated? If the content is is correct, or if if it is something uh, written for someone ten years ago that is outdated, or I don't know, you need to find the 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 good uh, content. Uh, there is another uh, another key problem for for kids to to learn to code. To, to, to really learn, learn to code. Uh, right now, there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of effort uh, with low level uh, programming, uh, with something like Scratch or, or the, that kind of technology where you don't see the real code, but you, you start to write program with blocks so this is a good starting point, but uh, there is, uh, it is really hard to go from the blocks programming to the real, the real world when, when you start to write real code. So there is no an easy transition from, from the easy tutorial to the, the real code. And um uh, learning is always more fun when it is a game. So here we have the gamification and um we 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 know that it is always easier to learn when it is a game. So we we can use this to to try to improve the learning experience for kids. So what is hack? Hack is a project that started some time ago as part of the endless uh, the endless operating system. And the main idea of this project is to try to improve uh, this, providing uh, high quality learning content and uh, a full ecosystem to 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 guide the kids or to introduce the kids to this world of coding um, and try to make it more fun to learn how to code. The, the idea behind this project was to create a first computer for, for kids, but right now this project had changed with, with time and now we are working on trying to provide the hack experience everywhere and not just in a device with the software and content 
that was the, 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 the first idea. So in the past week, uh, there was a presentation about hack. And the break had changed with time. So we have here some 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 changes in the direction of the break. In the hack one, we have the, the main idea of selling the this this computer uh, with uh, with a custom uh, operating system with all all the content and uh, thinking about uh, a device with all the software there. So we have a lot of control of that and we control all the software there and we can develop uh, a, a really big integration. Uh, it was uh, episodic, so we, we we release a new content every every month, and you have to follow the kit has has to follow the the quest one by one and solve the the different games. Uh, and, and there is no deci decision to what to learn in the kit for the kit. Uh, everything was guided. And we we the, the hack team create the, the content and and the, the idea behind this was to create a subscription model. But after some some things uh, we started the hack too. That is we 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 changed from the uh, device model to a, a software model more more generic application, so we change to a uh, to a application. Try to move everything to an application. Uh, we made this available on all uh, LS, so the hack uh, software is on LS by default since I think that uh, three point seven. So all the content is there. And the, the, the main thing is that uh, there is no episodes. Now all the content is in the application. And the, the kid uh, can, can choose what to learn, what is the most interesting for him, uh, and try to, to solve or to, to solve some questions. Uh, that are organized in, in different pathways. And we try to to make use of uh, existing content instead of creating all the content by, by yourself. So this is the, the project. We, we, we will take a look to the different components. We have what we call the clubhouse, that is the main application. It is, it is this, is a GTK application that works on, right now works on almost every genome distribution. We are working on that. I will talk about that uh, at the end, but it's a GTK application with custom styles. You can you can see that the that the design is, is really cool. We have uh, custom characters and, and colors and and everything is colorful to, to try to to adapt. It's it's like a game, but it's a it's a, an application. And you can see here the different character is each character uh, has a, a defined out pathway. We have five, and when you click on a character, you can see the a list of of quests. What we call what we call quest that is basically a a guided content. So, for example, uh, in this. In this snapshot, we have the operating system pathway, and we have uh, an introduction to the command line. So, 
So this is its uh, GTK application. Um, basically, it's a quest launcher and has a has a the the we have the the quest system inside the clip house uh, that is the the piece of software that integrate the that shows the the quest dialogue and and make the the content interactive a bit interactive so the quest guide the user through the activity giving direction and tips and also detects some changes on the desktop if the user opens an application and has more more interactive with some application so it detects if the user has done something and can give uh, tips or continue with the quest and the user can 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 select at some points can select the the next thing to do selecting from a list of options that the quest ask to the user and currently uh, all the quests that we have are python script but we have a work in progress uh, brand trying to migrate these or, or to support uh, a domain specific language uh, quest to make it easy to write quests for for non-developers so there is a, a script lang language called ink and we have some some something to, to integrate this with the quest system but right now right now we have simple pipe Python script uh, that, uh, that are the quest. Beside that, we have some uh, hackable applications. We have uh, these are small applications uh, designed to 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 teach a specific topic. So right now in the in the current version we we only have we only are using two toy app or our hackable apps. One is the site track and the other one is the operating system application. Um, and these are these are um, simple applications that uh, just are are web application uh, inside a web WebKit uh, container. So this is the content that uh, we started to create for the hack one, and we have these applications. So we are using the hack to in some quests. So it's custom content, and um, these applications are designed to 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 teach. Uh, something specific and then uh, you can write more than one quest that use that application and there are other applications that we are not using right now but that we can use in the future because the application are working and we can integrate city with the clubhouse and, and recover some all the quests And the, we have uh, all of these that I have sound are uh, simple GTK applications. So the clubhouse is a GTK application. The the, the hackable applications are uh, small application. And we have this important piece that is the the toolbox. The the idea was to to have to be able to hack everything. So we every uh, hackable application has a toolbox. So you can flip this the, the application and 
you will find uh, the internals of the application behind behind it and there you can find the code and the quest can interact with this with this toolbox directly so the quest can modify the code and, and detect if the user fixes the code um, or all, all these interactive uh, things <clears throat> so you can see here the site track for example the site track and you can see the, the site track toolbox that is that has different tabs so you can see here the the level instructions that is the uh, javascript code so with this we have the flip to hack concept that the, at, at the end, the, the toolbox is another GTK application, but with some Canon cell uh, specific code, we we attach that application with the main application. So we have the effect of the of flipping, um, and the idea is to to show to have a, a to show directly with this metaphor of flipping. Uh, that behind the application you can uh, you can hack you can modify the code and and you will see in real time the the result of, of your hacking so this is the the toolbox uh, and a toolbox could be uh, yeah, it's it's just a GTK application that is connected with with the main application. So in it saying will be will update directly the the toolbox. And because we have this transparent uh, flipped application, if you change something here in the code, you will see directly in the game the the chain. So how, how how can we do the the flip and um, all the things? So to to be able to flip the the application and to link this toolbox with the with the application itself, we need to work on a on, on a shell modification. At first, it was a shell shell a specific code in the Less operating system because it was uh, it was designed to to be a, a, a endless uh, specific content, but uh, we are working to to try to to bring the hack experience everywhere. So uh, we have moved the code to a cell extension that are, that is available right now on. On extension .or, and this extension just provide the flip to hack that is uh, that just bin some application with the toolbox and shows the button to flip and keeps track of of those windows. So modifies a bit the window management and. Um, it's also used to to show this quest dialog that is the 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 assistant the, this character that that are getting the the kid uh, around the the quest giving tips and, and instructions and these dialogs are the desktop notifications but with with custom styles and a custom behavior for for buttons that kind of of interaction and it also provides a small device CPI for for the clubhouse to communicate with the with the desktop to, to have more more integration And we we are here on the distribution thing. 
at first, as I, as I said, uh, it was uh, it was a project, a uh, less OS project. So at first it was only on the hack computer, but uh, some time ago we started to 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 distribute on every endless. So right now, if you install the the latest endless, you will see the hack icon on the desktop. So it's there and you can use. It's there by default. And right now we are working on the flat hat version so you can install on so you can install right now on Ubuntu or Fedora or any GNOME basic uh, distribution. Right now it's the is on the flat hat beta. So if you if you are able to to add the, the flat hub beta repository, you can install the clubhouse, sidetrack, and the operating system application. And you can take a look. Right now, the current version is because it is in beta, I, I'm working on that, and it could be broken from time to time, but uh, right now you can you can test and try. The the clubhouse install automatically the, the cell extension, so uh, you can install the clubhouse that is a flat pack and at first when you run the clubhouse the first time it will ask you to install the extension you will have a, a dialog and clicking in a set will install automatically the extension so it's really easy to so the, the distribution is not too complex it's all on on Flat Hub and the extension is on on, on GNOME and the desktop will install the default. And we we will release this on a stable really soon. Maybe the next month we will be available for everyone on Flat Hub. And we have, related to this, we have another similar project using the same concept uh, that is the hack web. It's basically the same, but in a way. So we created this web page to try to promote the, the hack experience. So if you are interested in this, uh, you, you can you can try it and there are a few quests there. Um, what about the future of the of the project? Uh, there are a lot of work to do here because right now this project uh, has some content but there there are a lot of possibilities. Uh, the idea behind uh, we are releasing this and trying to to release everything. Uh, everything is free software, is open source. Uh, everything is on GitHub, um, and there are other things that we can do to improve this. Uh, one. Uh, the first thing that we can work on is the internationalization because right now, right now the, this application and uh, all the content is in English. So, it, if this is directly uh, designed for kids, so uh, it is it will be really really important to have this uh, the, the application and the content in in, in other language. Uh, the ability to 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 add third party quests uh, it's something really interesting also because if if we are able to create a community we can have something like a like a quest store or something like that so 
uh, anyone can create content and publish content. Uh, it will be uh, interesting to have something like that to be able to to have uh, more content because at the end the technology behind this is not really important. The, the important thing here is is the the content. And we can use we can think about the, the flip the flip to hack uh, experience and we can think about integrate that uh, with uh, for example genome default development tools so for example for newcomers it could be really interesting to have something like uh, run uh, an application a genome application and being able to flip to genome builder to, to just have the real code behind the application and update that code and flip back and have the application updated. So there is something that, uh, there is some, some, some interesting ideas to, to explore, to try to make it easier to, even easier to, to, to hack something on on a genome desktop and, and and make it easier to contribute i'm talking about genome builder but it could be really really easy to to integrate this with other uh, with our application that we can call toolbox and um, being able to flip and, and modify for example translations or or the CSS or something like that. And the the and another important point is to try to to deploy more offline content because right now everything is uh, there is a lot of content on the internet, but uh, there are a lot of kids that doesn't have. Uh, internet connection or the internet connection is not good so if the application has the content inside it will be uh, easier for for these kids to 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 access to to the content directly and I'm not having to to go to a different web page And that's all that I wanted to to talk about. Uh, if you want to learn more about this, you can always uh, ask me. You can find me as uh, on IRC on on different genome IRC channels or on Matrix or using this email. And if you have any questions, I will be happy to answer. Okay, we have one question here. I will answer in the notes. So, what are the benefits or of a domain-specific language versus Python? The benefits is that it will be easier to write uh, quests. At the end, the quests are mostly uh, text. I mean, it's text, but with a uh, small logic. The small logic uh, is solved by this. The ink language solved that logic uh, with with some debug and. Um, um, a, a, a simple syntax is it's it's like uh, writing a markdown or something like that so it will be easier to write quest instead of writing a python code so you don't need to to write uh, at the end, you will need to learn 
a, a specific language for the quest, but I think that it's it's more semantic the the domain specific language than Python. Python is a generic language, and you will be able to do everything with Python, and, and the domain specific language will be more uh, restricted. So I think that that is the answer. I don't know if there are any other questions. Okay, if there are no other questions, I have one, actually. But it's not related to the code. So I'm wondering whether you have data like um, testing with children, like real life testing or control situation where you can test how, ch ch how kids perform in the different tasks or in the different questions you call them. Because I think that would be like very interesting to know. Yeah, we have uh, during this, uh, this project has a long time uh, development. I started to work on this uh, two years ago, almost two years ago, but uh, there was uh, people working on that before. And, and during this, uh, we at first we, we have uh, a playthrough with kids, with some kids every week that test these a specific content and, and do all we 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 try the test with, with real kids and we get the feedback to continue with the work so the content is is based on on, on that feedback and the main idea of, of this interactive uh, quest is based on, on this feedback. We, we, we tested this with kids. So yes, uh, this is really interesting. Uh, um, um, and we have done this before. But sadly, right now, we have not the, the, the resources to do that anymore. Um, it's harder now to, to test with real kids to try to to test the actual content or 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 the the experience. Is there any other question? If you want, please type it in the chat or in the shared note. There are some comments saying that the kids love the, the playtest you did. <laughs> right, so I guess if there are no other questions, well, we left your email address actually in the shared note. So if someone wants to, to contact you, they can, and I guess we can thank you for this amazing presentation, really. Well done. Okay, thank you.